Hello, thanks for buying an iParcel box, the smart, secure and weatherproof parcel delivery box you monitor and control from your smartphone. Today I'm going to take you through the process of installing your iParcel box. So when you first unpack your iParcel box, the box itself will be unlocked and inside the box there's a power supply, a bag containing all the fitting accessories you'll need, and also an envelope with the instructions for how to install and set up your iParcel box. The instruction manual that comes with your iParcel box will take you through the entire process of installing and setting it up. And it's that process that we're going to go through with you in this video. The first thing to decide is where to install your iParcel box. It needs to be within range of your Wi-Fi network and within three meters of a power supply so that you can use the power adapter that's provided. We've chosen to install our iParcel box here next to our bins. It's clearly visible from our front door, but probably not immediately apparent if you are driving or walking past the property. The fixings provided allow you to fix it either to the floor or to a wall, and so choose a location that's best for you. So before we start the actual physical installation, there's a few things we need to do first. First of all, it's really important not to power up your iParcel box until you're told to do in the instructions. It comes unlocked, but the minute it receives power, it will go into locked mode. And unless you set it up properly, you might then find that crucial information is locked inside your iParcel box. The next step is to download the iParcel box app, either from the iOS App Store or Google Play. The very first time you load the iParcel Box app, you'll need to create an account and provide some basic details. Once you've done that, you'll be able to log into the account using the app and you'll be ready to set up your iParcel Box. So before you permanently fix your iParcel Box, we really recommend that you get it all set up, tested and know that it's working close to where it's going to be finally installed. That just makes sure that you know you've got a good strong Wi-Fi connection and that you're not going to have any issues once it's physically fixed. So the next thing we're going to do is connect our iParcel box to a temporary power supply just so that we can get everything set up and running. Inside the bag of accessories there's a very small little antenna. Firstly just screw that onto the port on the right hand side of your iParcel box. Next you can take the power adapter and connect it to your temporary power supply. At this stage, make sure that that power supply is still turned off. Take the other end of the power adapter and plug it into the hole on the back right hand side of your iParcel box. Okay, the next step, before you turn on the power supply, make really sure you've still got your instructions and critically inside the envelope, there's a card with your setup information and a barcode on it. Before you turn on the power supply, make sure you've got that in your hand. Open the lid to your iParcel box and turn on the power supply. Then your iParcel box will immediately go into locked mode. When you turn on your iParcel box and power it up, you'll see on the front on the light that the light starts flashing rapidly. And that means it's in setup mode, ready for you to connect it to your Wi-Fi network. Okay, so now we are going to connect our iParcel box to our Wi-Fi network. So inside the app on your smartphone, click the Setup iParcel box, and it will then ask you to scan using your camera on your smartphone the barcode that came in the iParcel box set of instructions. So if you click on Next, your camera will appear. And if you simply scan the barcode, it will immediately scan it and take you onto the next screen. And that provides your app with all the information it needs to set up your iParcel box. Click on next, and it will probably ask you whether it wants you to allow to join a network and set, simply say join. Your iParcel box will then scan your local networks and try and find a Wi-Fi network. It'll take probably 20 or 30 seconds to scan for all the local available networks. Select the one that's yours and it will then ask you to enter the Wi-Fi password. Once you've done that, 
Your iParcelBox will then go through a number of steps to check that your iParcelBox can successfully connect to your home Wi-Fi network and save all the settings. This step normally takes 20 to 30 seconds, but sometimes it'll take a little longer. If for any reason you get a message saying the setup process has failed, click on retry and also check that you've entered your Wi-Fi password correctly. Once complete, you'll get a message saying that iParcelBox setup has been success and you are now ready to start using your iParcelBox. You'll be invited to subscribe to the iParcelBox premium service. This service provides you with additional features for your iParcelBox for a low monthly fee. If you subscribe when you first set up your iParcelBox, you'll get iParcelBox premium services for the first year absolutely free. So now that your iParcelBox has been successfully set up, you're almost ready to complete the physical installation. But before we do that, we're just going to do a couple of final checks to make sure everything's working as it should. As soon as you close the lid, your iParcelBox app should now register that a parcel has been delivered and send you a notification. And inside the app, if you now press empty iParcelBox, the box should unlock and allow you to open it. You can also test the delivery process by pressing the button on front of your iParcelBox. Because it thinks it's empty, it will unlock immediately. You can open the lid, pretend to make a delivery and close it again. And again, you should get a notification to say that a parcel has been delivered. If you then press the button again, as though you're asking to make a delivery when that parcel box has contents already in it, you'll get a notification on your app that a parcel delivery has been requested. Press it our delivery, and again, your iParcel box will unlock and allow you to empty it, and close again, and register that an additional delivery has been made. And then finally, press empty iParcel box. You can open the lid, and at this point, leave it open, ready to complete the physical installation. For the permanent installation of your iParcel box, you'll need a suitable electrical power supply. That could be an IP rated external socket if you have one, or if you've got an internal socket within three meters of your iParcel box, it's possible to simply put a hole through the wall and route your electrical cable directly through that. If you don't have either of those scenarios, then it might be necessary for you to ask a qualified electrician to come and sort out an electrical power supply for your iParcel box for you. We strongly recommend that you don't make any changes to your home electrical installation unless you're professionally qualified to do so. In our instance, our iParcel box is going right next to our garage where we have a suitable socket just inside the garage. So we've created a hole just through the garage wall which comes out right next to our iParcel box here. To help you position the fixings for your iParcel box, the instructions come with a template that provides the fixing holes and you can use the same template either for wall mounting or for floor mounting. The holes are in the same position. Your iParcel box comes with a bag of fixings which contains four bolts which are multi-purpose that you can use to fix directly into wood, concrete, block or brickwork as well as washers and spacers and the purpose of the spacers is to make sure that if you are mounting your iParcel box to the wall it's positioned just far enough off the wall so that the lid can properly open up against the wall. In our case we're going to floor mount our iParcel box and if you want to you can also use the same spacers just to lift your iParcel box slightly off the floor and I think we're going to do that. So I've positioned my iParcel box where I want it to go before I use the template, I'm just going to make one mark under one of the holes just to use as a setting out position and then I can use the template to make sure I've correctly positioned the other four holes. Before finally fixing your iParcel box, it's also worth just making sure that there's plenty of room either side for the antenna and that your lid is going to be able to open and close nice and easily against a wall or, in our case, a fence.
Okay, so I've used the template to set out my holes. I've actually just adjusted them a couple of times just to make sure that none of the holes are gonna land right on the joint of one of my paviors here. Check that it still fits uh, and that there's enough space either side and at the rear, so I'm now ready to drill my holes. For this, you'll need an eight millimeter drill bit. Okay, so that's my four holes drilled out. I'm just gonna give them a quick hoover to clean them out and then I'm ready to fix. So with the holes drilled, we're now ready to fix down our bolts. As I said before, the main purpose of the spacers that come in the accessory bag are if you are wall mounting to make sure that your iParcel box stay slightly off the wall to allow the lid to open but in my case you can also use them if you're floor mounting and I'm going to put these underneath my eye parcel box just to make sure that it's lifted slightly off the ground. One thing I forgot to mention, don't forget the washers on the inside face of the box. Okay, we're good, all the holes fit. Just simply a matter now of tightening up the bolts. If you don't have a 15 mil spanner to hand, look for a uh, bike uh, tool. Very often they'll have one that's the right size for you. So there we go, that's the four bolts in place. I think it's fair to say that this is going nowhere. Final step then is just to uh, close off the four unused holes on the back of the box with the four little rubber grommets that we've got in the pack. So that's it, all done and ready to go. Here you can see we've got a really good strong fixing the grommets in the back just to uh, make it as watertight as we can. So that's it, installation's now complete. The final step is to simply reconnect the power supply at the back, check your app and wait for it to come online to make sure that everything's okay, and you can then close the lid of your iParcel box. When you check the app, you might find that it thinks that a number of parcels have been delivered because of the process that you've been through when installing. If that's the case, simply click on empty iParcel box within the app, open and close your iParcel box lid, and it will reset itself ready to accept your first delivery. Congratulations, that's the installation and setup process for your iParcel box complete. Finally, please keep your instructions and the set of information card in a safe place away from the iParcel box because you'll need that if you want to connect additional smartphones within your family to be able to control your iParcel box. We hope you really enjoy using your iParcel box and that it solves the problem of missed deliveries for you and your family. If you've got any problems, please contact us via the website and we'll be happy to help you.